Hello, N4 H and H here. There's a QRP CW station out in Arizona. Hear it? He's just about buried in the noise. So this is what sets Yesu rigs apart from just about everybody else out there. There's a few uh, up at this level, but watch, watch this. I'm gonna, first of all, that's not him, that's somebody working him, but digital noise reduction. And then audio peak filter. He's almost a ghost station. So the audio peak filter is, I've got my side tone set on 600 hertz. So with it zeroed, see that guy's off frequency. I'm going down finding him. But if I've got it centered up, then it's looking for 600 hertz of tone at 14.062980. Now, I could run it on up to 03, which is where the guy reported is reported to be, and then I can use the audio peak filter and it slides up and down in 20 hertz or 10 hertz increments so I could go down 20 and find him that way. But it will change his pitch, okay? By 20 hertz. Hear him? Now, and sometimes I find that when I'm pulling up out of weeds like that, that's that little higher pitch, this the 600 hertz works better. Personally, on a you I like 550. Okay, I'm going to put APF back at center. And there, see, he's a little bit easier to hear with it. 600 hertz tone, so therefore I just slid the VFO down 20 hertz to get on him. Now, while he's sending, no help. That audio peak filter is gold. Now, if the filter ring bothers you, that's called ripple. Um, this is a Chebyshev curve. In other words, the skirts of the filter on the on the um, you know upper side and lower side are very steep, so it puts it into a, the uh, class of a contest radio where you can have a lot of QSOs going on stacked up on one another here, you know, uh, especially in an emergency situation. Contests do that. And of course, it simulates an emergency situation where you got so many operators on at the same time and everybody's consuming the bandwidth. So in that situation, that very steep Chebyshev curve, as it's called, C-H-E-B-Y, uh, S-H-E-V, I believe I spelled that right, Chebyshev curve is advantageous as opposed to a Butterworth curve or where the skirts are easily, you know, they're uh, soft, a soft curve where they slope out more gradual. Um, but you get a little less ring with the Butterworth, but with the Chebyshev, you get better selectivity. So if the ring is objectionable to you, turn on your notch filter and dial in about 80 hertz below your side tone, manual notch. Here, listen to the difference. Now, another thing you can do, what's generating that ringing is the amount of signal you're pushing through that filter. So you can also help it by rolling RF gain back, turning on IPO. Now, IPO means I've lowered my receive sensitivity, so I may want to go over here and dial back the digital noise reduction a little bit. I think I think he's finished sending, but you got to hear what I wanted you to hear, which was the difference that the APF made. So, you know, if you work in a rare DX station and uh, you're having a little trouble getting, you know, your signal report, although they're usually going to send you 599, right? Uh, or, or, you know, it's a struggle to get the station's call sign, uh, you know, what have you, whatever the situation may be. Uh, then, you know, these are some of the tools that will help. And in in the CW situation, the audio peak filter is uh, is great. Let me, let me scan over there so you can see where I am. Audio peak filter on the 5000 right here. The 991 has it as well. I don't have it on, but uh, the FT991A there, it also has that feature. Oh, there he is. He's still in there. Um, the audio peak filter. 
it's a uh, common on these modern Yesu radios. Now that's with IPO on, and I'm not having to use the notch to knock out the rip filter ripple. Now I'll put IPO. I'll put it back on amp one, and then turn on the manual notch. So the judgment on whether to do it that way or turn on IPO, that all depends on the signal strength of the station you're trying to pick out. But that audio peak filter is just incredible. Uh, icing on the cake, if you will, on CW. So here he is. So again, I'll go to IPO. I'll turn off the digital noise reduction and go to IPO one. Some radios have only one level of IPO. This one has two. Essentially, you're you're lowering the receive sensitivity on your radio. This the 20 meter band is 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 really the band where it's kind of like sometimes in IPOs a better on and sometimes it's better off, maximizing your receive sensitivity. But when you get down on the 40 meter band, uh, 80 meters, 60 meters too, uh, 40, 60, 80, 160, you don't need that extra receive sensitivity. So I generally run IPO on uh, IPO one. Now, even on 160 meters, I go to IPO two. So there we have IPO on and we don't need the, the notch to knock out that filter ring anymore because we're not pushing so much signal through that filter. That's what causes that ripple, that ringing. You know, this radio, I was telling some, a friend of mine this morning, the filtering on this radio is such that you can, you can have a weak signal like that guy was at S3. And if you're just giving your signal report by ear like some of us do, because um, some of the QRP rigs don't even have an S meter, you'd give the guy 599 because he sounded like 599, but he sounded like 599 because of the filtering. But that's okay. Look at this guy. He's not even moving the meter. That's that soda operator. Not even moving the meter. And you could almost give him, I'd probably give him a 589 anyway. But, but let's turn the help off. You, you don't always have to put the digital noise reduction at 15. Again, it depends on the gain structure, how much you're pushing into that filter, because I'm using the digital noise reduction also to minimize some of that filter ringing here. So maybe 12 is a good, a good position for this particular case. You know, as, as you probably can tell by watching the videos on my um, channel here, I'm not a big knobs to the right type of fella. Sometimes boosting is making it worse. Sometimes it's better to cut things. And so, um, you know, IPO is a prime example. It's just yay so speak. It's their marketing term that means IPO on means no preamp. So, for example, on this ICOM 7300 sitting up here, it's, it, it, it's going to be preamp one, preamp two, or no preamp. Now it does have another little feature called IP plus, but that has to do with the fact that it's an SDR. So it's a little bit different uh, spin on, on IPO. But just remember with a Yesu radio, when, when IPO is on, you are actually, um, you're taking the receive sensitivity down. You're, you're not gonna be as sensitive and therefore you're not gonna pull in as much noise. And again, 40, especially on 40, 60, 80, 160 meters, you're not going to need that extra receive sensitivity. And really, arguably, sometimes I would say 20 and 30 meters, you may or may not need it. In this case, 20 meters don't really need it. Okay, there's a little um, uh, opportunity there while I was chasing this guy to, to show you the advantages of the, um, of the uh, uh, audio peak filter. I, I should mention, I know he's, he's not sending anymore, but I should mention, let me, let me pan back over here so you can see. This particular radio allows you, some don't, but this one allows you to choose either between APF or Contour. 
And the default for the contour from a Yesu, I'll show you in the menu, the contour width can be set 1 to 11. The default is 10. That's how wide it's going to scoop, okay? And it's set here to scoop at negative 15 dB. That's the default. So there's the contour. You see it, that, that scoop? Now what you generally do, you wouldn't want to put it on, on 600 because that's your side tone. But you can sneak up, and there's a lot of grind here around 300 hertz. So if you, if you set the, in fact, some of the ASUS default there. If you set the uh, contour and turn it on and put it at about 300 hertz with a 600 hertz tone, it'll take a lot of that grind out of there as well. I tend to like the audio peak filter more because it's, if you will, it's looking at 600 hertz plus or minus 10 and amplifying that. So it actually helps their, the weaker stations be a little bit louder. Okay, so I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I want to thank my Patreons for helping me keep the channel going. Uh, if you want to help out, that's www.patreon, patreon.com slash n4hnh. And uh, what I like to do on my channel, well, there's a little variety. Sometimes I show you, you know, some videos of my friends and I out hiking mountains and stuff. But I generally try to focus on the um, uh, real operating conditions with these radios and exploring the various different features that they have uh, to attack different situations to where, you know, because... If you can't hear them, you can't work them. So that's why on my channel, I focus a lot on the gear and how to maximize your use of the gear. And a lot of the things I show you here apply to other brands of radios, not just Yesu. So if your radio has an audio peak filter, take advantage of it in the similar fashion that I did um, on, on this radio here. In fact, same thing, digital noise reduction. I, I happen to have found so far in all of my dealings with these rigs uh, that the digital noise reduction on the Yesus seems to outclass the others. But nonetheless, if yours has it, you know, try it out, even on CW. And I mean, you know, manual notch filter for CW again, to try to uh, knock down some of that filter ring because the filter ring happens to ring at the same frequency as your side tone. So sometimes that can get in the way and that's why I like to knock it down a little bit. Okay, so uh, appreciate uh, you guys um, helping me with the channel here. And uh, hey, I want to say, if you would, like the video, subscribe. That helps the channel as well. And this is N4H&H saying 73.